What's up, YouTube? Back with another video, and today I'm gonna go over the best 10 cutting plays to get you some easy dunks, layups, and lobs here in 2K22. And the cutting plays on this game aren't really that good. Like, most of them don't even work. And most of these plays aren't even cutter priority. Some of them are three point priority, some are pick and roll, some are handoff, but they have a really good cutting option that you can use to get some easy baskets at the rim. So that's why I put these plays in the cutter category. Also, all of these plays are on next gen. Most of them are current gen. Some of them aren't, but I'll let you know. And with that being said, let's get into it. The first play is give 41 circle. This is a handoff priority play you can find in the Timberwolves and Hawks playbook. I believe this play is on current gen as well. It's not in the Hawks playbook on current gen. I don't think. I think it's just in the Timberwolves playbook, but I use this play when I was playing with the Timberwolves and I got a lot of lobs for Anthony Edwards using this play. And I like this play because where your center sets the screen, he's so far up that his defender really can't deflect the lob because we know like when you throw lobs, defenders turn into Deion Sanders and just go above the backboard to deflect it. But since your screener is so far up, if the defender gets hit by the screen and then your player gets behind the defense, it's almost a free lob every time. The next play is give 52 fist. This is a handoff priority play that you can find in the Pelicans playbook i believe this play is on current gen as well and i remember using this play calling it for brandon ingram because at the time while i used the pelicans zion was still injured so i called this play for brandon ingram and i was able to get him lobs and similar to the last play when your center comes to set that screen he's so far up that if the player gets behind the defense it's almost a free lob every time and plays like this in the last one also work really well with a shooting center because if that center backs up to try to defend the lob then you get a free shot for your center the next play is fist 15 side rip this is a pick and roll play that you can find in the jazz playbook i believe this play is only on next gen and even though it's a pick and roll play it has a really good cutting action that i use to get lobs for donovan mitchell and pay attention to the guy in the opposite corner because sometimes he will rotate over and turn into Deion sanders and deflect that lob so if you notice him cheating over you can throw a pass straight to the other corner for the three the next play is fist 25 horns back this is a pick and roll play that you can find in the heat playbook and i believe this play is only available on next gen and even though this is a pick and roll play it has a really good cutting action that i use to get jimmy butler some easy dunks and what i would do is assign the play to kyle Lowry and give the ball to jimmy butler and initiate the play because whoever you initiate the play with is the one that gets that cut so i give the ball to jimmy start the play and then you pass it over to the elbow jimmy gets the screen goes back door and yeah i got a good amount of easy dunks and layups with this play the next play is quick three punch snap this is a three point play you can find in the thunder playbook and i believe this play is available on current gen as well and even though this is a three point play there is a cutting action that you can score from and with this play whoever you call the play for will get the three point opportunity as well as that cut so when i use the thunder i assign this play to shea and you'll eventually throw the ball into the post then shea gets a screen and cuts right down the middle of the lane so a lot of times he's open on that cut and you could pass him the ball and this play is actually pretty old too i remember this play from like 2k19 throwing lobs to russell westbrook and yeah even though this play is pretty old it still works really well the next play is quick three rip five out this is a three-point play that you can find in the raptors playbook i believe this play is available on current gen as well but i'm not 100 percent sure and when i use this play with the raptors i called this play for van vliet to get him some threes but there is an action where an and ob gets a screen and then he cuts right down the middle of the lane and i was able to get some easy dunks and you can get that cut for your point guard shooting guard all small forward it just depends on who you assign the play to and who has the ball when you start the play the next play is quick four rip three double this is a three point play you can find in the king's playbook and this play is also available on current gen as well and i will call this play for buddy hill before he got traded to get him some threes but there is an action that whoever your power forward is will get two screens and dive to the rim so you can hit him for some layups and dunks and you can also get that cut for your power forward small forward or shooting guard it just depends on who you call the play for and who has the ball when you start the play 
the next play is cut rip rim one this is actually a cutting priority play that you can find in the nuggets playbook but it's only available on next gen as far as i know and i never actually got to use this play in game because the nuggets playbook got updated in the middle of the year and i just never use it again but i used it a little bit in practice it seems like it'll be pretty good so i decided to mention it and if you do use this play let me know how it works for you the next play is cut point this is a cutting priority play that you can find in the bucks playbook and i believe this play is available on current gen as well and this is another play that i never really used and when i was using the bucks i was using other plays in their playbook so i never really used this one but again using it in practice i feel like this play would be useful as well you may not get as many lobs as some of the other plays but you can get regular passes in there and still be able to score at the rim and the last play is punch loop 25 this is a post up low priority play that you can find in the Cavs playbook and i talked about this play in the last episode where i went over three point plays but you could also use it as a cutting play and get some dunks and layups you just gotta get a little creative with it so when you start the play and whoever your point guard or shooting guard is after he runs through that first screen you want to pass the ball to that first screener and then when he gets that second screen he'll cut towards the rim and if his defender gets stuck on that screen you can get him the ball and he'll be wide open for some dunks and layup and this is something that i used to do with this play a lot and this is why this is one of the best plays in the game because you have a lot of options and this play has a lot of versatility so that's pretty much it for the plays like i said in the beginning there's not a lot of cutting plays that are good and that actually work but there are a lot of other plays that you can use as cutting plays so let me know how y'all feel about this list um let me know any cutting plays that you use that you feel that are good and as always i hope this helped you i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content